Hello, I'm Nathaniel Smith, and today I'm reviewing J.R.R. Tolkien's The Children of Hurin. So obviously this is a posthumous, posthumous uh, work, thanks uh, to the editing of Christopher Tolkien. And I know this is part of the Similarian, and you can see elements of that, especially towards the beginning. But as its own story, it's really, really good. And it's mostly uh, well written and published. I think honestly, the only um, the only thing is there's so much history references in here through the Similarian that if you don't have some context of the Similarian, you can kind of get lost every once in a while, especially in the first like leg of the book before the story really starts, because the story itself doesn't really begin till Turin, the main character of the story, um, uh, leaves, and from then on it, it's just. Yeah, from then on, it gets more clear story-wise. And the actual story is fascinating, as it's a tragedy, and uh, it's it's about how the children of Hurin basically are cursed, and how they ended up dying. Um, yeah, and it's really good. You know, I think it's fascinating to see how, you know, this guy who means well and tries to do good is cursed in such a way that he damages everyone he comes in contact with, even his own sibling. Um, that's pretty fascinating. And him trying to avoid it and changing his name and constantly trying to stop this curse that he can't stop and is a part of him till his death. Um, yeah. It's, it's surprising to see such a sad, dark ending to, uh, uh, Tolkien's stories. We're so used to it at least having a happy ending of sorts, you know. But yeah, I think, um... I think the only thing I, 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 not to mention, I forgot to mention here, they have some amazing artwork in here, if you can see it. So yeah, it, all around, it's a pretty good book. I, I do admit, though, that if you haven't had some basic understanding of the Similarian, you're going to get lost again with the earlier stuff. There's a lot of references like that. Um, I guess the only bummer is because it's post-humorous, you know, after uh, Tolkien's death, um, there's a lot of more of stating or saying what happened than showing, but again, it wasn't finished the way Tolkien would have wanted it with the Similarian and so forth, and yeah, I mean, this is the best we could have gotten from the Children of Hearn, I feel, and it's, uh, it's a really good story in general, um, yeah.